Welcome to beautiful San Jose del Pacifico, known for its magic. In this episode, we explore this small mountain town, the area around it, and dive into the magic it has to offer. So hop along, subscribe, and join the magical experiences with us. Hello guys, my name is Frederica, and this is my boyfriend Chris. Click below to see the before and after. <laughs> <laughs> we are a Danish couple who loves traveling the world. Together, we have also renovated this tiny cabin during the summer. But now we are back on the road and we will be exploring the wonders of Mexico for the next couple of months. So hop along, subscribe and enjoy the adventures with us. Oh, I love it. <laughs> morning guys we are going to san jose del pacifico today let's go morning let's go let's go let's, go. let's get packed Yay! San jose. goodbye airbnb Let's go. Goodbye, Oaxaca City. Goodbye, Oaxaca City. But not really a goodbye because I'm sure that we are gonna be back here another time celebrating the of the Martes in real manners. Ah. Seats. This is gonna be a nice ride, I think. Yeah. Here we're in San Jose. Not so. We're in San Jose del Pacifico. Are you tired? Yeah. Yeah, I can hear it on your voice. <laughs> This is what I call uphill. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's possible to see how steep it actually is, but trust me, it's a bit steep. <laughs> yeah. I was here with Tatuga two years ago. Tatuga, as you all know. And I made it up to this point. And then when I gunned it for the second hill, she stalled like after 10 meters and started rolling backwards. The engine quit and bumped into this post. This post was the only thing that actually stopped me from going, going down the hill. Yeah, super scary, but fun to be able to show it to Frederica. Yeah, it's nice yeah. to see. Yeah, so he basically had to turn around the car here or get yeah. help from some yeah. people. Push it again. Yeah, and then just roll her back down there from where we just came from and park her down there because yeah, she just couldn't handle the hill. Chris was quite lucky that he didn't fall all the way down here because here is just like one big hill you see but he was stopped by the poles right here we are staying at la compra hostel which i would call the go-to place in this town and this is our tiny place here so it's bedroom i don't think you can call that living room or office or anything but it's a bedroom and it's a bathroom in here. And then the best part of it is this view. This view. located on the top of the mountainside at San Jose del Pacifico. They offer a variety of different rooms and cabins for affordable prices. The place is almost like a little labyrinth with balconies, stairs, rooms and restaurant. But the way it's built allows you to enjoy this amazing mountain view from almost anywhere in the hostel. We have just left our luggage in the room and we'll just grab a bit of lunch upon the long drive from Oaxaca City. Lunch, bit of view. Oh, you a little cutie pie. Now we're heading downtown to fix some practical matters and have a small look around. Reporting live 
from San Jose del Pacifico. We are in the mountains of the Oaxaca region, in the mountain ranges between Oaxaca City and the Pacific Coast. This is one of the Pueblo Maquicos, as they call them in Mexico, the magical cities. There are a few towns in Mexico throughout that have this beautiful name. As you can see, we're lodged in between the cloud covers. There's clouds below us, there's clouds above us. We are basically in the clouds, which is quite magical. This town is very special in terms of its energy and its vibe. People here live a very peaceful life in harmony with nature and the mountains. The mountains provide for them. The ground is very fertile here, so you can grow basically anything and people do it organically here. Yeah, enjoy as you come with us through San Jose del Pacifico. Yeah. San Jose del Pacifico is actually located 3,000 meters up in the mountains. So the air is pretty thin up here. The weather is colder, but it's yeah really lovely up here. You can feel this magic energy. And the people here in San Jose del Pacifico and the surrounding cities, they have a deep relation with mushrooms, magic mushrooms. It's very spiritual for them and it's very uh, ingrown to the community. And that's also why a lot of travelers come through here, is to participate in this harmony with the mushrooms and see what they can teach them. Good morning, guys. It's another beautiful day here in San Jose del Pacifico. As you might notice, I'm wearing a lot of clothes. <laughs> Chris too. It's pretty cold here. I don't know, five degrees outside or something like this and there's no heat inside this room and there's just like cracks around the door and so on but, but our plan for today is to go hiking and then enjoy some magic We are all for a small hike right now and we're going to a place called Arabol de la Luna. So first we have to find a colectivo or a taxi or a tuk-tuk or something like this because the hike starts at a place called Terrazo de la Tierra which is four kilometers out of the city so it will take us like five, ten minutes to reach there. And from there on we can continue the hike to Arabol de la Luna. So this is uh, Terrazzo de la Tierra and we arrived here with the tuk-tuk which cost 70 pesos equal to what in USD? I don't know actually. But anyway, it took like 8 minutes to get here and now we're on the path for uh, Arabol de la Luna which should be a walk for like 15-20 minutes. Stunning. It's so calm out here. Vegetable garden. Oh yeah. This right over here is a Timascal. In English, it's called a sweat lodge, but it's very traditional for the Mexicans. Really beautiful to try it out. It's really stunning here. It's so quiet. The only thing you can hear out here is just nature sounds, animals and so on. And we think that maybe this place is owned by a Dane. Not sure yet, but maybe. When we were still in Puerto Escondido, we ran into a Danish woman who told us about this Dane in San Jose who should have bought a huge plot and turned it around into like vegetable gardens and small pyramids and all these beautiful stuff. And this is exactly what we're seeing right now. So, I mean, that's the reason we think that it's a Dane who owned this beautiful plot. Or, whoa. <laughs> uh, she told us that before he was a big chef in a really nice restaurant but he gave it all up just to come out here and be one with nature. We later discovered that our speculations were true. A Danish man named Thomas is the owner of this beautiful piece of land. This small pyramid shaped building is used for yoga classes. What up, little donkey? We're here. This is stunning. Like a grandmother. Tree. Yeah, exactly. It looks like a really old, beautiful grandmother. This is the tree that is called Arabol de la Luna, and it's, it's kind of breathtaking out here. I'm almost out of words because it's just so calm and energy right here. It's kind of like visiting this old, beautiful grandmother. Really, really beautiful.
We are now back at Terrasse de la Tierra and we'll just grab some lunch at this lovely organic cafe of theirs. These small pyramids are used for meditation and Chris is just trying to feel how the energy inside it is like. Back in the city, so now let's find some magic. On purpose, I didn't record anything from our magical evening because I wanted to be fully present. But it was very special and indeed a beautiful experience, connection and teachings. And I promise to explain a lot more about my experiences in a later episode. So please subscribe if you want to stay tuned for that. It's a new day and we have just returned to Terrasa de la Tierra to enjoy the beautiful energy and some delicious breakfast while working on the computers. Back in La Compre and we will just enjoy this beautiful mountain view while the sun disappears for today. This is truly a beautiful way to recharge and end the day. Hey you. Good morning. It is the sixth. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> it is the sixth of November, so we are allowed to hear Christmas music. Yay! Let's get packed. <laughs> Our next stop will be Santa Cruz, Watulgu, and therefore we're packing up our stuff and getting ready to leave magical San Jose behind. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to stay tuned on our adventures in Santa Cruz and all the other beautiful places we will be exploring. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I wish you a beautiful rest of your day. See you next time. Yay!